So my dear friend, now this session, we are going to have the discussion about what is a class and what is an object. Very simple, my dear. So what is a class and what is an object? Let me have a small point here first. Let me have one small point here first. So ladies and gentlemen, in fact, the class is a what your friend, class is the keyword. Yes. Okay, class is a keyword with the help of class keyword. Yes. By using what your friend, by using the class keyword, by using the class keyword, we can define our own data type. We can define our, our, our own data type, our own data type, our own data type called what your friend just called user defined data type. That's it, my dear friend, nothing more. That's enough. So what is the class? In fact, the class is a keyword. With the help of class keyword, we can define our own data type. Call it as what your friend user defined data type. User defined data type. Ladies and gentlemen, just here I am going a little deeper, just required to pay more attention, especially in Python. In Python, every data type, every data type is a what your friend, every data type is a class, right? Every data type is a one class. So we have some predefined data types are there. So predefined data types are there and what your friend user defined data types are there. Okay, predefined data types are there and user defined data types are there. Already you guys are aware of that. <coughs> In Python everything will be, every, every data type is a one class. So predefined data types means they are the predefined classes. Predefined data types are nothing but what your friend just a predefined classes. For an example, for an example, if you take int, what is the data type? What is the class for the int? Class int you will be getting. I'll be showing you here. If you take what your friend float, for the float, there is a class is called what your friend, just a class of float. Yes, this is the way likewise. Okay, but what is the user defined data type? As I said you, the data types which are defined by us for our application requirements comes under what your friend user defined data type. The data types which are defined by us for our application requirements, call it as what your friend user defined data type. See, first I would like to cover you one small practical point. Just watch on the screen very clearly, my dear. I want to go this one. So let me open this Python. Sir. Let me go with Python. Sir, I'm declaring one variable. Now it is a one variable of type what? Int type. When I write type of x, what you will be getting? You will be getting class int. It seems what? Int is a, is a data type. But every data type is a one class or not? It is practically proven in front of you, right? That is the reason requesting you please and be patient, see, just to understand the concept very effectively. Now I'm writing 3.14 or some value, point decimal well, 3.14 or 3.12, whatever the value. But what is this type? Sir, whenever I want to display type of Y, immediately you'll be getting the class float. It seems what? Every data type is a one class. So they are what your friend just predefined the classes. So now what is the user defined data type? Sir, user defined data types are nothing but the data types which are defined by us for our application requirements, call it as what your friend user defined data type. But sir, how can I define my own data type? That is lovely friend. Yes, we can define our own data type by using what your friend just by using the class keyword. That is a matter ladies and gentlemen, by using what your friend class keyword. Now let me start what is a class. I hope you understood class is a keyword. With the help of class keyword, you can define your own data type. Call it as what your friend user defined data type. User defined data type. Sir, how can I declare the class? Sir? Just here is a one small syntax I would like to tell you gentlemen. You can observe this. Okay, the syntax for defining the class. How do I? Then very simple, you have to write the keyword class space. You need to write what your friend just a class name. And should end with what your friend colon. But instead of the class, what you can do, you can declare some variables. The variables which are declared in the class, the variables which are declared in the class is called as what your friend feels. Feels. Use it to what your friend store the data. Use it to store the data. In the class, we can define what your friend some functions. We can define some functions. Call it as what your friend just a methods. Methods which are used to what your friend manipulate the data. Okay, so what is the class guys? Class is the keyword. With the help of class keyword, we can define our own data type, call it as user defined data type. 
in the class we can declare variables call it as what your friend feels in the class we can define what your friend functions call it as what methods guys fields are used to hold the values methods are used to what your friend manipulate the values fields are used to hold the values methods are what your friend used to manipulate the values and another important point it is not compulsory to have both fields and methods in the class kindly notice that my dear friend it is not compulsory to have both fields and methods in the class yes that is what you if you want you can define a class empty if you want you can define a class only with the fields if you want you can define the class only with the methods if you want you guys can define the class both fields and methods i hope now you understood right in the class we can define only fields if you want you can define a class only with the methods if you want you can define an empty class if you want you can also define the class both fields and methods my dear friend fields are used to hold the values whereas methods are used to what your friend manipulate the values fields are used to hold the values methods are used to manipulate the values but here and there some people are saying the different definitions right so we have that alternative definitions for them so what is the class class is a collection of state and behavior even that is also fine so class is a collection of state and behavior here in the context state is nothing but the fields behaviors are nothing but what your friend methods we have the different terminology my dear what is a class i say class is a keyword with the help of class keyword we can define our own data type call it as what user defined data type in the class we can declare the variables called fields fields are used to hold the values in the class we can also define the function call it as what methods which are used to manipulate the values but it is not compulsory to have both fields and methods in the class a class can be an empty you can define a class only with the fields you can define a class only with the methods if required you can define the class both fields and methods what is the alternative definition for the class class is a collection of fields collection of what your friend state and behavior state is nothing but what fields behaviors are nothing but what methods even we can say class is a blueprint of an object what is it class is a blueprint of an object even we can say class is a template class is a template these are the alternative definition for the class my dear don't worry is going to be very easy for you come on ladies and gentlemen i want to take one small example here so this moment i am defining an empty class slowly we will enhance declaring the variables and defining the methods will blast them but okay kindly understand ladies and gentlemen i want to define one class sir i am defining the class the class name is what your friend something like a sample that's it ladies and gentlemen what is that now this is an empty class empty class that's it so this is what your friend defining the class very simple sir what is an object sir what is an object yes it is a very very important point you need to understand ladies and gentlemen say generally a class is a what your friend class is a logical representation ladies and gentlemen class is a logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory ladies and gentlemen lot of attention is required so what is the class sir class is a logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory number 1 number 2 so number 2 sir in order to allocate the memory for the fields by chance if you have any fields in the class for those fields memory is allocated or not allocated no for those fields memory is not allocated as you guys already aware the class is a logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory thus it does not allow you to store the data yes the class is a what logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory thus it does not allow you to store the data sir in order to allocate the memory for the fields in order to allocate the memory for the fields and to access the members of the class in order to allocate the memory for the fields and to access the members of the class then we need to create an object for the class we need to create an object for the class i hope you guys understood i'll repeat once again the class is a logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory thus it does not allow you to store the data in order to allocate the memory for the fields and to access the members of the class we need to create a physical representation for a class 
called an object yes but rather even we can also say some uh, what is that what is an object instance of a class instance of a class this is what most of the people will be using what is the object instance of a class but i want to give a more clarity for you my dear friend so what is an object as i said you my dear class is a logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory thus it does not allow you to store the data in order to allocate the memory for the fields and to access the members of the class we need to create a physical representation for a class called an object in other words we can say an object is nothing but instance of a class instance of a class ladies and gentlemen now let me show you how to create an object for the class my dear friend to create an object for the class this is a syntax we have to follow so what is that now here we have to give the reference variable name yeah some reference variable equal to and you have to write something like what your friend class name you have to follow this guidelines ladies and gentlemen class name and here we have to write what you now the list of the list of what your friend list of arguments guys don't get confused this is what your friend list of arguments it seems hey so here is a go just you need to understand this one this particular underlined thing is so this particular underlined thing is what you know underlined thing is actually call it as what gentlemen that is call it as the constructor yes yes that is what your friend constructor don't worry my dear very simple so what is the constructor and all will be covered gentlemen don't worry so anything is represented in the square bracket is what your friend optional by saying that you don't worry about that so first we need to understand why should i create an object for the class we need to create an object for the class for two reasons reason number one to allocate the memory for the class and to allocate the memory for the fields and to access the members of the class we need to create an object for the class but sir how do i create an object here is a syntax so reference variable equal to class name ladies and gentlemen knowingly or unknowingly so many times you work with this approach yes so many times you work with this approach i'll be proving that after a few minutes please give me some time here sir but now here i am taking like this my dear what is going to be happens focus my dear focus i'm requesting you everyone so this is what the scenario is going to be happens then so now here what is the reference what is the class name you have taken sir class name is a sample sir s is the reference equal to sample placing you no one words more attention is required so this is actually call it as what your friend constructor see what is the constructor in fact constructor is an initializer method constructor is an initializer method used for what object instantiation and object initialization constructor is an initializer method used for what object instantiation and object initialization sir so whenever the constructor is called whenever the constructor is called then only an object will be instantiated instantiated means what created let's have a look here what is a constructor constructor is an initializer method used for what object instantiation and object initialization sir what will be happen sir when the constructor is called whenever the constructor is called then only an object of the class is going to be instantiated whenever the constructor is called then only an object of the class is going to be instantiated in the heap organization in the memory in the memory we have two partitions one is what your friend stack another one is what your friend heap so just what your friend stack and heap kindly notice it my dear but whenever the constructor is called then only an object of the class is what your friend an object of the class is instantiated yes now this is what object is created so this is an object of the class what your friend in fact it is an object of the class sample yes it is an object of the class sample now the sample class is a predefined or user defined it is our defined so we can say it as what your friend it is a user defined okay now what is happened here now the sample class object is instantiated guys whenever the constructor is called then only an object of the class is instantiated in the heap organization for every object 
for every object the python virtual machine for every object python virtual machine will provide unique identity call it as what your friend ash code for every for every object in python memory yeah, for every object there is a unique identity is created by the python virtual machine call it as what your friend ash code how it is going to be said this is the way like this underscore underscore main underscore underscore dot so the, what is the name of the class sample object yet sample object yet and you will be getting some ash code like this for every object python virtual machine python virtual machine will provide unique identity will provide unique identity this is call it as what your friend just a hash code hash code so when the object of the class is instantiated whenever the constructor is called then only an object of the class is going to be instantiated whenever the constructor is called then only an object of the class is instantiated for every object python virtual machine will create unique identity call it as what your friend hash code so this object is assigned to what see the see the statement right this object is assigned to what yes because assignment always takes place from right to left assignment always takes place from right to left where s is a word sir s is a reference variable ladies and gentlemen for the reference variable memory is always allocated in the stack for the reference variable memory is always selected in the stack more detail we are trying to cover here just now yes is the reference sir s is the reference the reference is always referred to the reference is always referred to the object can you notice it ladies and gentlemen reference is always referred to what your friend reference is always referred to the object by holding its ash code this is what exact happens so now s is a what your friend in fact s is a reference the reference is what your friend reference is referred to the object by holding what your friend by holding it's a reference by holding its reference now you please tell me what is this yes here s is the object or s is the reference s is the not the object s is a what your friend in fact s is a reference the reference is referred to what your friend an object reference is what your friend referred to an object this is what the case exactly happens this is what object creation i hope you guys got the point very clear once again i want to tell you what is an object sir as we know that class is a logical representation it does not occupy any space in the memory thus it does not allow you to store the data sir in order to store the data and to allocate the memory for the fields in order to store the data we need to allocate the memory for the fields to allocate the memory for the fields and to access the members of the class we need to create a physical representation for a class called an object in other hand we can say object is nothing but instance of a class so how can we how can we create an object for the class by invoking the constructor what is the constructor constructor is an initializer method used for what object instantiation and object initialization so whenever the constructor is called then only an object will be instantiated in the heap for every object python virtual machine will provide unique identity call it as hash code so reference for the reference variable memory is always selected in the stack and reference variable is always referred to the object by holding its hash code ladies and gentlemen based on your application requirements you can create n number of objects for a class no problem at all based on your application requirement we can create n number of objects for a class which doesn't make any problem for you okay very simple class is a logical representation object is a physical representation that is the reason class is a template object is a what your friend physical existence until unless you create the object you can't store the data you can't manipulate the data that is a matter we have to create an object for the class let's have a look here ladies and gentlemen many times as i said you sir so this is what your friend the constructor as i said you here i want to give you one small example and you people are having some experience already in the python so this is a way so guys if you want to create the list collection how we are writing sir sir l equal to we are writing list what is that in fact that is a constructor yes that is a constructor what is happened now list class object is created isn't it yes let me check the type of l means you will be getting an object of the class list class list sir i want to create the tuple sir you'll be writing tuple 
tuple is a what your friend yes is a is a constructor to create the tuple object type of t set then type of t then tuple object is created so likewise that is what we have defined our own class we can also create an object for the class by using what your friend constructor based on your application requirements you can create n number of objects for a class so we'll see we'll show you one practical example so that you'll be getting more clarity on that my dear friend give me a moment so okay let me take one small example here how to define the class okay simple i am defining the class sample guys it is an empty class slowly we'll be adding the fields and methods later but it's an empty class so can i do with that class anything can i do anything with that class by using only with the class we can do nothing but sir, then what you have to do to do any manipulation in the class we need to create the physical representation for a class oh then what you have to do creating an object we have to create an object how to create an object we have to write like this so this is what your friend constructor whenever the constructor is called what is happened an object is instantiated sir but this object should be referred by some reference yes so ladies and gentlemen for you to get an idea just to listen here then type is what your friend type of yes sir immediately you will be getting what it is a class what is that now underscore underscore main underscore underscore dot sample hey don't get confused why this underscore underscore main it is representing module it is representing what module in this module in this module this is what your friend this is a class sir now you can observe this Ladies and gentlemen, as per the diagram I said you, reference is what your friend, the reference variable is always holding and all reference variable is always referred to the object by holding its hash code. Let me print what is there in the, yes, I want to print that set, print and I want to go with what your friend hash code is, I want to print yes. Let me run this ladies and gentlemen, go to the run menu and click on run module, you'll be getting a lot of things. Once again, you can see, go to the run menu and click on run module. What is that? You have created an object of the class sample. But the sample is the class from which module? Underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore. And whenever you create an object for the class, for every object, Python virtual machine will provide unique identity. Call it as what your friend hash code. This is a module. And the sample object is created with this ID, with this ID. But my dear friend, I said you one more point here. Based on your application requirement, you can create n number of objects for each class. Let me show you. This is what dear friend, I want one, I want to draw a line. But sir, S2 equal to sample. Now I created one more object. S2 equal to sample. Let me check that. So one more, one more object is created or not. Yes, yes. Based on your requirement, you can create n number of objects for a class. And for every object, Python virtual machine will provide what your friend unique identity, call it as hash code. Let me run this one, go to the run menu and click on run module, you'll be getting two objects. Hey, have you noticed, here is a sample object is created, but hash code is different. Here also sample class object is created, have you noticed hash code remains same or different? My dear friend, hash code is different, not remain same. That is what, based on your application requirements, you can create a number of objects for a class. I hope you ladies and gentlemen got very clear idea about what is a class and what is a object. Is it clear? That's all.